friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is our city's citywide yard sale. So I want to bring you all along with us. We're about to head out. It is 7 a.m. right now and we like to get a really early start. So we're going to get going. It has been raining a little bit, but hopefully it's going to clear up and be a beautiful sunny day. But the citywide yard sale in our town is always so much fun. Their yard sales are lined up for miles and miles down the street and you just kind of park your car and walk and then there's like food trucks set up. And then whenever we get back home today, I will share with you all a haul of whatever I find. Hopefully I find some good stuff. Um, I'm actually looking for a new furniture piece. I recently rearranged um, the living room and pretty much the whole house and now I have an empty spot that I want to find a really beautiful antique piece for so I hope that I find one today and I will share it with you once we get home but I hope y'all enjoy coming along and let's head on to the yard sale first yard sale sign we noticed was actually on our road so we drove down here it was a little Amish family and they had some really nice stuff some furniture we actually did end up getting that cast iron skillet it was only one dollar but I forgot to include that in the haul but we did purchase that and then so many yummy baked goods we also got that um, spice cake and we gave it to my mother-in-law for Mother's Day Amish baked goods are the best and then now we're at this huge sale we love going to this one they set up I think once a month and they always have amazing antique furniture and glassware dishes so many amazing vintage and antique finds and it's so fun to go in here and just dig and look around at all the treasures I really loved this cute little cubby um, box with all the drawers in it and I feel like that would be such a fun project piece and something really fun to fix up and use in your decor. I also really loved this McCoy um, little like utensil holder or crock. They also had some really cute planters and just all kinds of fun things. Like I said it's so fun to dig through here and see what you can find. Cause we got no more if only And we start to feel the bad It's a different kind of sadness It's a different kind of fear Now we're stuck in this weightless And the end is getting near So I'm moving on Then you've been moving on And I've been moving on they have so many nice furniture pieces like I said if you're looking for a hutch or a china cabinet or a dresser or a table this is the place to go they have all kinds of that stuff they even have these adorable little child size hutches how precious oh my gosh I love those and then next we decided to go into the junk and gypsy this is the place I wanted to take y'all into um, whenever we did our downtown horse cave video but they were closed and when we drove by on this day we noticed that they were open the doors were open and um, there was people going in and out so we stopped and went in and I had to get some video footage for y'all to show you because this place is amazing it just opened and it is filled with so many treasures and so many unique things that you don't just see all the time and I love going into places like that it's so fun look at this amazing suitcase that has drawers and then a spot that pulls out to hang clothes it's incredible I loved everything she had in here such a nice place so definitely check out the junk and gypsy if you are local or if you're stopping by through horse cave and then we also went to a couple other thrift stores um we went to goodwill and another local place called shabby chick antiques and we got some really fun goodies from there so i can't wait to share with you all what all that we got on our little weekend outing and i will share it with you once we get back home Okay, now I'm gonna share with y'all what all I found at the yard sales this weekend. So the first piece I got is this beautiful end table. And I found this at the yard sale that had all of that gorgeous antique furniture. I got this for only $5. I still can't believe it. 
how gorgeous is this i love the legs on it and the handle just all the little details it's such a beautiful little table and then it has a nice little drawer right here so i cannot wait to fix this up and give it a little makeover it needs some love to get it spruced back up but i'm really excited to work on this okay here's the next thing i found i have been wanting an old chippy door for so long and i'm so happy i finally found one this weekend i found this at shabby chick antiques and i love that store so much we were just um happened to be riding by there and stopped in and i saw this beautiful door on the outside and it was just everything that I've been wanting. And it was only $25, which I feel like is a steal for a old antique door. It's gorgeous. It even has this old hardware on here. And then on the other side, it actually has, um, I don't know if you can see or not. There it is. The original knob. Um, I think it's original anyway. It's extremely old. But I actually like this side of the door better. The other side is not as cute and white and chippy as this side. So I'm going to probably leave it turned around this way. It even still has the old hinges. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh, so much character. So excited for this piece and all of the ways that I can decorate with it. I feel like the opportunities are endless with these old doors. And there's so much you can do with them. And it truly adds a lot of character and... Um, detail and texture to a space i just love this um wood distressed look so i cannot wait to share with you all in a future video what i end up doing with this but it's definitely gonna go for now in here in the kitchen and it's gonna be part of my kitchen makeover video so make sure that y'all stay tuned for that Okay, now I'll share with y'all all the other little goodies that I found this weekend. I found some ironstone. I got some beautiful old books over there and just a ton of little goodies that I can't wait to decorate with. So the first thing that I found is this beautiful tray. This was $2, if I can remember right. Let me flip it over. Yes, $2, and I love the detail around the edges. I actually have another tray that's just like this, and it's gold, and it's a little bit smaller than this. Um, and this one I really love because it's like a antique, like, brass kind of color. The next thing that I found is this beautiful little ironstone sugar dish and it didn't have the lid but that's okay because i still love to pick these up when i see them for super cheap to put little flowers in and to do all kinds of different things with these little dishes um you could stick some little small like measuring spoons out of here um or just small wooden spoons like i said flowers um, there's all kinds of different things I've seen people do with these. You could even plant like a succulent in it. So I just thought I had to grab this for only 58 cents. Um, definitely worth having. And it says made in England on the bottom. And then the next thing that I found, this was from one of the antique stores that we stopped at. Um, it's a set of these beautiful green depression glass dessert plates. It was $2.99 for the set of three. And I mentioned in a recent thrift haul that I was going to um, keep my eye out for more green depression glass because I just love it. It even matches my green little cups that I just got from Hobby Lobby. I love the design on them. Super, super pretty design. There was a lot of green depression glass in there today. I could have went crazy and got a whole bunch of things, but I just decided to keep it simple and get the plates because I know um, exactly how I'm going to style them already. And then they also had little pretty dessert cups and um, little goblets like for drinking glasses and all kinds of cute things. But excited that I grabbed the plates. And then from the yard sales, I found these beautiful aged terracotta pots. How awesome are these? Look at the age on them. So beautiful. They were $2 each. And then also from the yard sales, I found this whole set 
of beautiful little ironstone teacups. I actually have plates and um, a couple other pieces of ironstone that match this exact same design of these cups. So I thought they were perfect to add in. I love to get pieces like this. I really try to go for like mostly all white. I like to add in little pops of green here and there um, to add a little color, but the majority of the time I love to stick to white and cream colored dishes because I love collecting them and I think they're so beautiful and I love to layer them. And there is the stamp on them. So let's see, there are two, four, six, eight, ten of these. And I got all ten of them for two dollars, so I thought that was a really good deal. And then the next thing that I found is this awesome box. This was from an antique store as well that we went to. And this was, let's see, $6.99. And I absolutely loved that the writing in this is in green. I just feel like that kind of ties in with all my decor really well. And I really am trying to add in more. I'm always saying that like more wooden pieces, but I really love the rustic and vintage feel of old wooden pieces. I said this too in my last video. I just love that perfect mix of the white and the wood together. If it's too much white to me, it's too plain and I really need that rustic um, feel added in. So I grabbed this cheese box and you can use it like this to set little things up on top of or of course you can flip it the other way too and you can do a pretty little floral arrangement. There's actually already holes in the bottom where it looks like somebody used this as like a little planter box before but that would be adorable as well. Love that find. And then the last thing that I found, this was from the Goodwill. I also went in there and hit the jackpot on books. It looks like maybe somebody um, donated their entire collection of gardening books and outdoors books um, and cookbooks. There were so many. Usually I'll see like one or two, but there was a whole section filled with beautiful, beautiful gardening and landscaping books this time so i was super excited to find all these and there was a lot that i even left behind i just grabbed some of my favorites but the first one is this really pretty um this is just like a business book but i loved the green color of it so this is the only one that's not really like gardening or anything related but over here i have um all of these really old distressed books and I just thought that that would kind of match perfect over here and go with what I have going on so grabbed that all of these books were a dollar and then this one is my absolute favorite how precious is this Eddie's green thumb the little rabbit oh my goodness it stole my heart and I have heard that she has a lot of really really cute books like this so I'm gonna have to look these up but how adorable and each little I think there's a few chapters in it I was looking through it earlier like this chapter is called the vegetable stand how does his garden grow so adorable the next one is called Farmhouse Cookbook, and I just loved this one. Look at that pretty green writing on the side. I love all the little farm animals and the farm details. I just thought that was precious. And then this one is called Country Decorating, which you all know. I love that so much. Look at all the little houses. Gosh, this is just adorable. Love, love, love it. And then I also loved this one, Antique Flowers. And it tells all about old-fashioned flowers and the names, the meanings behind them, and all of that. So I just thought that was 
again so precious and then this one is gardening america let me see what the pictures look like in this one And then the very last one is called Secret Gardens. And I really, really loved this one. How pretty will that be displayed with the spine showing? And look at her name. How perfect. <laughs> so this is why I feel like someone dropped off their whole collection because of the fact that all these were there in the same day. And there were so many too, like I said, that I left behind. Um, so somebody had really collected some beautiful, beautiful books. So I'm excited that I can now add these to my collection and decorate with them. They're just so pretty. Um, and you just never know what kind of unique books that you're going to find. I just love finding books from a thrift store. Um, so that is everything that I ended up finding from the yard sales and the thrift stores this weekend while we were out. I really hope that you all enjoyed coming along with us and um, getting to see some of the different sales and um, places that were set up. I really hope you all enjoyed coming along with us this weekend. Thank you so much for watching and make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and let me know in the comments below what is your favorite thing that I found this weekend. I would absolutely love to hear but I love you all so much. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.